All right, hi guys. Had a couple of people ask about this. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and replace the uh, transducer sending unit um, that plugs into the uh, CTIS um, power control unit. And this will up the air pressure over the entire system. Uh, it doesn't change anything else. Um, again, you'll, you want to pull your kick panel off uh, below the electronics here. And then when you come up to this this little hatchery of boogery here is your, uh, is your control unit. And if you look right back up in here, that is the little guy we're, we're, we're looking for. Mine had a little small extension, as you can see here. But basically, the this threads right back down. This is going to thread right down on top of that little hole. And then the three-prong uh, plugs into the top. You want to look. There's one little latch on the side. And that's uh, that's the only thing you want to, want to know where it is when you fish your hand in there to unplug or replug the, uh, the electrical wire. Um, but other than that, it's just uh, you, you get in there, and you may have to find whatever is comfortable for you. But get in there and, and uh, come in from from the top, pull the cap off, and then get in here with an open end box wrench, and um, you can unthread that thing and pull it right out. Then take your new one. Be sure to throw a little uh, throw a little tape on it, a little Teflon tape and run it back in and then when you go to plug it back up on, from above you want to be sure you know where this uh, feel where this little latch is and that'll give you a guide to know which uh, which direction the three prong plug goes in and then button it all back up and uh, it should kick you up to about uh, mine runs about 75 I think is what I'm running right now so yeah nice little nice little improvement 75 on highway 45 on cross country haven't tested the uh, sand yet, but uh, yep. That's all there is to it little 10 minute mod cost 10 bucks So good luck